Hello everyone, hope you all are doing great and uh, welcome back uh, to our YouTube channel and uh, in today's video we are going to be uh, building a photo picker uh, in Swift UI. So we're going to be using UI view controller representable basically allowing us to cross the boundary of Swift UI into the UI kit world and bring in some of the functionalities that UI kit has into our Swift UI world. Okay, so let me show you what I'm talking about. So we're going to have this simple UI where you can click on the button and pick uh, some of the photos from the uh, photo picker and uh, then add them back into your Swift UI view. Okay, so uh, like I said, it looks very simple. It is easy to build as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, uh, and before we actually start on that direction, I just wanna share that we have recently launched a new course in devtechie.com. So basically the Mastering Swift UI iOS Bootcamp is still there. Like, you know, it's, uh, it's a really good uh, long video. If you're learning about Swift UI and if you wanna explore, like, you know, what Swift UI is all about, it covers pretty much all the basics, starting with, uh, by building a complete app from scratch. Um, other than that, we have recently launched this pantry management app using MVVM design pattern, SwiftUI 3, iOS 15, and Firebase. So go ahead and check it out on devtechie.com. With that, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so what I've done is I've created a just a simple uh, page, uh, a SwiftUI view, and uh, we're going to start by creating a, a UI view controller representable. Now, UI view controller representable is uh, very similar to UI view representable, but in this case, it actually brings in a UI view controller, okay? And you're gonna see why we're gonna need it um, in a minute. So we're gonna first import photo photos UI. And photos UI has a controller called PH picker controller, uh, the controller uh, that you saw when we were running the app. So when I click on this, this is an entire view controller itself, okay? So this UI, uh, we don't have to build our own UI. This actually is provided by iOS itself, and we can simply bring that into our Swift UI world with the help of this UI um, view controller representable. So we're gonna create a struct, and uh, we're gonna call this photo picker. UI view controller representable is gonna be the protocol that we're gonna uh, conform to. And this protocol has a few requirements. So we wanna, uh, let's stop this. And the first one is gonna be the type alias. And this actually is gonna help uh, the uh, UI view uh, representable determine what kind of return type uh, these uh, methods uh, like you know make ui view controller and update ui view controller are going to have so it's basically a help uh, for the compiler itself so we are going to say that this one is going to be ph picker view controller type okay and after that we're going to stub out the two of the required functions so let me go ahead and try to fix this all right let me go ahead and build, and uh, this should actually change. If it doesn't change, um, then, okay, there we go. Okay, so these two functions are required, okay? And as you can see, depending upon our type alias, the return type has changed. Uh, otherwise, return type would have been like a generic. So I'm gonna move this up right here, okay? And I'm gonna remove these uh, code blocks. All right, so let's talk about these two functions. So make UI view controller is where you are actually gonna return an instance of view controller to your Swift UI view, okay? So this is an essential part and that's why it returns a PH picker view controller. Now update view, update UI view controller is where all the updates related to UI are gonna happen. In this case, we are not making any updates to our UI, so we're gonna leave this function blank, uh, even though it is actually required, so we're gonna have to leave it as is, okay, with an empty parentheses, um, and yeah, so 
let's go ahead and create some variables so first of all uh, we're going to expect a configuration to be passed in so we're going to say configuration and this is going to be of type ph picker configuration we're going to have a couple of binding uh, variables one is going to be a picker result uh, this is going to hold ui images the images that has been picked by the user and we want to provide it as a binding because we want to return this back uh, to our uh, caller basically uh, that's going to be our ui swift ui view okay so is presented is going to be the next one which is going to be off type boolean okay once we have these uh, properties created uh, we are going to create our controller so we're going to say let controller is equal to ph picker view controller with configuration uh, that has been passed in okay so this is going to be part of the initialization the configuration and uh, we're going to be able to initialize our ph picker uh, view controller using that configuration okay we want to make sure we return that controller and we're going to say that controller dot delegate is going to be the context the current context dot coordinator so this is an important line i didn't mean to delete it okay so this is an important line why because uh, if you remember in ui kit world we have these delegates that we build and provide the uh, fulfill the functionality using the delegate protocol now in case of swift ui world whenever we are coming uh, in like you know bringing in ui kit functionalities and building them out using ui view controller representable or ui view representable uh, if you need a delegate uh, or like you know a function that requires a delegate kind of protocol uh, then you have to actually pass it using the coordinator now what is this coordinator because it's actually right now giving in uh throwing an error well it's another optional function called make coordinator okay so make coordinator is going to return a coordinator and we want to pass in the uh the type which is calling it so i'm passing it this self now right now coordinator is not recognized because it doesn't exist yet so we're going to create a class called coordinator and this is the pattern that you're going to follow like most of the time where you're going to create a coordinator you're going to pass the coordinator back and the return type is actually going to be a coordinator like so okay now this is where you're gonna define your delegate um, so you're gonna say this time it's gonna be ph picker view controller delegate and you're gonna confirm this class is going to conform to that to that delegate okay and this delegate is going to have basically a parent that is gonna expect which is going to be of type photo picker that's why this self is being passed so we can use this to call some of the things that we want to do when the when we want to basically do some operations on the parent all right so our initializer we're going to say self dot parent is equal to parent whoever is the caller okay all right so uh there are like you know functions uh, or things that we want to do whenever user is picking uh the um uh, the images so for example this one is called uh did cancel so uh let's say did finish so did finish is one uh whenever user has finished picking um and uh, let's go ahead and jump to the definition to find out what all functions uh, that are there so ph picker actually has just did finish uh, picking okay so this is the only function so we're gonna build this function out okay so what do you want to do with this um well we, we know that uh, whenever we are building this out um our 
uh, like our picker is giving us a, a, an array of results, which is of type ph picker result. So we want to iterate over these results. So we're going to say for image in results, okay, because this is uh, going to be a set of images that have been collected. Uh, we're going to say if image dot item provider. So it provides an NS item provider. And we're going to check if the object can be loaded. Okay, so if the object can be loaded, because if it's a type of UI image dot self, okay, then you want to say image dot item provider dot load object. So we're going to say load object of type UI image dot self. And this gives us a completion block, which has a new image and error. Okay, we're going to say if let error, that means error is there. If the error is there, we're going to simply print the error dot localized description. If the error is not there, that means we have received some kind of image. So we're going to say self dot parent dot figure result dot append new element, which is going to be the new image as UI image. Okay, so if this is the if this is not the case if the um if the image is not sorry okay so if the uh image is not of type ui uh, image right we want to provide an else case and we want to print that um, the selected asset is not an image okay so we simply want to say that like you know in case if it's not an image um although we're going to filter it out okay so we're going to filter out so user cannot select the image but if in case for some bug it shows up uh, we want to make sure we handle that case so um we also want to make sure that we actually uh, dismiss ourselves whenever user has done picking basically the images so we want to dismiss ourselves by calling parent dot is presented to be false all right so this is all it needs to basically build out a photo picker now we can actually call this using our swift ui view and we're going to see how to use this so i'm going to create a struct photo picker demo which is going to be a swift ui view so it's going to conform to the view protocol now this guy right here is going to have a state variable called is presented, which is going to be a boolean type and initially it's going to be false. Okay. Then we're going to have another state variable for our picker results. Okay. Which is going to be an image of Oh, sorry array of ui image and it's going to be empty at the beginning then we're going to create a computer property for config which is going to be of ph picker config and we're going to create a variable for config picker configuration with photo library dot shared so whatever the shared photo library is we're going to use that we're going to also filter out to select only the images now you have the option to select live videos videos or any like you know with the class uh, but we're going to choose the image we're going to say config dot selection limit now selection limit uh, can be like you know basically zero that means any number of images can be selected or you can set a hard limit basically saying only one image can be selected or two or like so okay we're going to return this config because this is the config that we're going to use for our um to for the initialization of this photo picker okay now we're going to create our body so body and uh, here we need to have a scroll view because our images can be any number of images user can select uh, we're gonna have a use a lazy v stack and inside this lazy v stack we're gonna create a button 
okay which is gonna basically toggle the state of present is presented so we can launch our view controller okay All right we're gonna associate a sheet with this uh, which is gonna call our photo picker uh, UI view representable we don't need anything for on dismiss so we're gonna remove that and for the content we're gonna simply have photo picker which takes configuration so we're gonna say self.config um, actually this should be config like so self.config okay the picker result is going to be the picker result uh, object that we created property that we created right here and is presented is is presented like so okay now once we have uh, like you know some images right we can actually display them using the for each And we're gonna say take the picker result id them by self and for each image simply create an image with ui image and we're gonna pass the image inside that we're gonna resize this image and set the frame um, to be the same width as the screen switch so you can, we can say ui screen dot main dot um, bounds not the brightness bounds dot width and for the height we're gonna say it's gonna be 200 and uh, for the alignment um, we can have the center the aspect ratio is gonna be a uh, content mode fit so let's go ahead and choose the content mode dot fit all right and with that we have our picker view ready so let me go ahead and run this and i've changed the name present photo picker instead of present picker so we can see that this is the new view that we have launched all right so it's gonna take a minute to um, build okay there we go so we have our present photo picker let's go ahead and click on it and there we go we have our images we're gonna select as many and we're going to add these and there we have it we have our images added and being displayed so when we add like more uh, they're going to be added inside this array as well okay all right so with that we have reached the end of the video and uh uh, yeah so this is it for the video once again this is how you can uh, build a photo picker inside swift ui just by bringing in your um your ui kit version and putting it inside the swift ui using ui view controller representable once again thank you so much for watching and uh, if you like the video give it a thumbs up and uh, leave your comments below subscribe and don't forget to check out devtechy.com we're going to be adding a lot more stuff um, so a lot more exciting stuff is coming so uh, stay tuned for that and thanks again for watching i'll see you guys in another video